Um, I tried the coffee dyeing last night and um, I'd say it was an epic fail. I'm Heather from Frugal Renewal. Welcome to our channel. Here we take a look at our uh, cost-saving, budget-friendly DIY projects, second-hand thrift finds, and other ways to save money um, while making over our house that was built in the 60s and really wasn't touched much since then. So when we moved in here a year and a half ago, uh, we had, were dealing with some family illness and then we were dealing with COVID and uh, there's been some slow progress, but there's been progress. Now I'm taking a look at it room by room, trying to finish some things up. The windows in our sunroom are actually vinyl, they're not glass, so we've had to learn a little bit about how to take care of them. So we have a window cleaner that we need to um, use on those. Vinyl meaning literally like a plastic sheet. So we need to figure out how to repair that or where to bring it to have it re redone. Um, right now we have heavy brown blinds at the top. We want to replace those with drapes that are in a lighter color and then um, something that we can open and close the rest of the way for protection from the sun in the hottest part of the summer. Today's job, windows. So it's a nice day. It's probably about seven or eight degrees outside Celsius but sunny and nice and warm in here. So I'm gonna wash windows. Here's a before. I'll wash those with soapy water. I just have my, my Dawn water mixed up right now. Warm water with some Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna wash some windows, take some blinds down, and then we're gonna check out this new vinyl window cleaner that we have. This is the vinyl window cleaner that we used. It's a combination of isopropyl alcohol with some petroleum gas. So today, we worked on taking out all of these vinyl windows and cleaning both sides of them, and it made an enormous difference. There was a couple we couldn't get out. Here, the sun. Yeah, that one still has some dust and sand, and this one's been cleaned. Let's see, let's see the difference. So things are looking fantastic, and light, and bright, and airy, and we love it. So we had a little hiccup yesterday with the curtain rods. We didn't have mounting brackets. So we were able to get some mounting brackets, but they were white. So I ended up spray painting them all this afternoon, flat black. And for the purpose of our sunroom, that'll work. We had flat black spray paints. That's what we used. In particular, the drapery panels are a hit. Might have to wash those before we hang them up. <laughs> now that she's getting on there with her muddy paws, it's been raining all day. Oh dear. So it's Friday and it's been another week of work teaching online. So now that this, <laughs> of course now the neighbor is making some noise. Anyway, the plan is to work on the sunroom again this weekend. However, the curtain rods that we were planning to install turned out to be a little bit too flimsy for the weight of the drop cloths. So instead, we bought some galvanized um, electrical conduit, three quarter inch diameter, and we're going to, I'm going to paint them a flat black, um, like a trim clad um, metal paint. Um, and the plan is to use those as curtain rods. We did this successfully in a, um, our previous home. I also bought a comforter cover um, to use as the futon cover. It coordinates pretty nicely with the cushions from the wicker set. The problem is now that the drop cloth curtains that go behind that don't quite go as well as I would like them to. So I've been looking at how do you dye drop cloth curtains and they're not cotton. They're 50-50 cotton polyester blend. So I have researched and found that you can use coffee. Like if you think about when you drink coffee and you spill it on your shirt, it stains your shirt. So it will stain the drop cloths as well. So I plan to play around with um, dyeing or staining 
the drop cloths with coffee this weekend. So isopropyl alcohol on a microfiber cloth and then rubbing it on the bar um, back and forth and it's taken the film right off which is great and now I'm getting ready to paint them. So, using the trim clad paint definitely you want to wear gloves for this because it's oil based. The nice thing is it's paint and primer in one. I'm just using a cheap throwaway brush and as you can see I've done some of the pipe already. I'm just working on doing some of the parts I missed. And then I have my first of the three drop cloths in the washing machine right now because there's a film on drop cloths when you buy them and you have to uh, wash it off. So I put vinegar and laundry detergent in the washing machine with a drop cloth. And then the drop cloth actually needs to be wet to do the dyeing process. So um, when it's done its washing cycle, then I can try dyeing my first one. So yes, I am showing you our avocado green bathtub, which I actually like. <laughs> and um, that's because that's where we're going to dye the drapes. So I got it in there. I used about a cup of instant hot coffee and about a third of a tub of super hot water and a couple of handfuls of table salt. I know that's not exactly an exact science, but it's an experiment. So it's been soaking for a good hour. I um, moved it around and flipped it around about every 15 minutes. Um, and I still have trouble touching the water. It's pretty hot. So I'm going to try and drain the tub and then I'll put in, uh, I'm supposed to rinse it with cold water. And then when the water runs clear to put some vinegar in cold water and let it soak in the vinegar and then that should help set the color. So I know it's just a subtle difference, but hopefully it, it is different and that it's noticeable. Hi, so it's Saturday. It's the next day. Um, I tried the coffee dyeing last night and um, I'd say it was an epic fail. Uh, so I have read that 50% cotton, 50% polyester blend doesn't really take dye and that's why they suggested on the different blogs that I was reading um, using coffee because coffee kind of stains everything. But um, it didn't really take to the fabric as well as I'd hoped. And I actually think the difference is very subtle and not worth the hours that I put into trying one panel. So I'm just going to show you um, the difference. So the fabric on the left went through the dyeing process um, and the rinse and all of that. And the one on the right was just taken out of the package and hasn't even been washed yet to get rid of the film. It definitely feels like it has a coating of something on it and this one is much softer and and um, more flexible and that's from just having been washed in the washing machine with um, detergent and vinegar so I think I don't know if you can tell that there's a color difference it's super subtle this is just a little bit more beige and this one's just a little bit more of a cool gray it's very very subtle but I'm wondering if I can achieve this, which I like this one much better, if I can achieve that just by washing it in the washing machine um, with the detergent and vinegar and letting it dry. So that's what I'm going to try and do because that would save hours of time. And it didn't really uh, cost much. It was just an experiment and hopefully uh, everybody can learn from my mistake. So yesterday I had said I didn't see much of a difference between a drop cloth in the package before it was washed and the one that I had put in the coffee bath. And it seems to me that there is a noticeable difference. This one is definitely more gray and the other one is a quite a bit more beige. And with the floor and the furniture, it's definitely the more beige color that looks better. So today will be another day of coffee dying in the bathtub. <laughs> So 
I drained the tub, I squeezed out as much of the coffee um, as I could, rinsed it with cold water and um, as the best I can. It's really heavy. It's a 9 by 12 canvas. And when it's completely full of water and I'm bent over, I don't know if it weighs... I, I don't know how much it weighs. It feels like it weighs 50 pounds. <laughs> anyway, so I tried to wring out as much as I can with my hands. Now it's soaking in a vinegar bath, about a cup of vinegar and a third of the... maybe a quarter to a third of the bathtub full of cold water. And I've uh, flipped it over a few times. I'll let it sit there for about 15 minutes. Then I'll squeeze out as much water as I can run down with the with the drape down to the washing machine dripping water the whole way because I cannot get much of it wrung out throw it in the spin cycle and then it comes out almost dry and then it'll go outside to dry along with the other one so these are electrical conduit rods so the 14 foot wall span which is the front of our sunroom is too long for one of these electrical conduit rods so we took one and apart we put a joint around here, there's a bracket, and then uh, Pete pounded the metal iron bar inside. Uh, it's a tight fit, took a lot of pounding, and he wouldn't let me take a video of it, it was pretty entertaining. Then the curtains also are not long enough, because they're 9 by 12 panels, so 12 feet from this corner here to about here. And then there's a couple feet that wouldn't work. So we put this one in the corner. This curtain is mounted in the corner. Some of it goes this way. Some of it goes this way. And we're kind of happy with how much protection that'll give us from the sun in the summer. So this is probably the position that we'll have them in most of the time. This way we have some privacy from our neighbor, but we still have some light let in as many windows as we can. And the other drapes will be sort of parked in the corners. So I used a little bit of black electrical tape just to make a faux knob at the end of the rod so that just the one or two hooks that had the potential of falling off won't slip off. So the bar is a little bit distressed. I like that look. Distressed means that when we live in it day to day it's not going to uh, look worse. In fact, I used to distress our furniture intentionally so that um, I wouldn't feel upset if something got scratched. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel if you like the content and you'll be notified when new content's released. <laughs>